Hello there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share some of the books that we have for babies aged 3 months and up. Now obviously, there are a million options out there, but I like to keep it minimal and basic because yes, it's a great time to introduce books to infants, but there isn't a need to write too much on this period now, they're just babies. And uh, all these books, they belong to Solly and we have just started to introduce these to Nera. Yeah, so these are all like tried and tested ones by him and hopefully your kids would enjoy them too. To start off, I have this set of two mini cloth books which is the first ever books we had. I'll try to link all these books if they are still available. So this one, you can introduce to your babies as soon as they try to grab things. They are just perfect for their little hands. Small, lightweight, makes a crunchy noise too. Now, if your baby likes to put it in their mouth, just like my daughter, no need to worry because these are completely machine washable and I've washed it over a hundred times and it's still as good as new. So I highly suggest on getting one of these because they are totally impossible to destroy for them. Now this book falls in the same category which Naira received as a gift. This is also machine washable and this is small teether toy along with it. And its contents are so vibrant and catchy for the little eyes. All these little details, it's so lovely. And this is small mirror at the end as well. Needless to say, Solly enjoys these books more now that he's at that stage. It's like two birds for one stone. He gets to practice all these numbers, different colors, new new shapes and the book Baby Shark and Friends. We talk through each and every sea animals in it, count all the fishes, makes our own stories and Wishka doesn't like the song Baby Shark, right? So yeah, it's all worth it. Now it is said that babies first learn to explore the world around them through the sensation of touch and so touch and feel books like these are perfect to encourage their use of senses. This board book is Baby Touch Peekaboo from Ladybird and as you can say by the look of it, it's very well used. Yes, Naira isn't ready for this yet but as I said, I could ask what the different things in this book are to Solly and Naira can simply sit back and chill watching, maybe trying to touch and feel the different textures also. Again, it's got all these beautiful illustrations and really big flaps with the hole to help little fingers to pull them and the fact that it's a hard board book kind of helped it to survive all of my son's grabs and pulls. Along the same line comes this set of four books which is from Pretty Books. It's a combo of four which includes words, colors, shapes and numbers. This one in particular was Solly's favorite one in the past and I guess it's because of the truck in the very front that catches his attention. I believe I have a cute video of Solly going through one or two of these books. I'll add it in here. Then Denda 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 Ah, 
apa mana kak? Hai, senang lah sendok. Dendah ni. Baby. Baby. One thing I love about Pretty Books is that most of its images are real and kids below one could relate these with the real life things like the rubber on the ball or the fur on the kitten etc. And it's a great one to practice phonics or numbers or even shapes with your toddler as well. See all these damage on this one? Solly literally chewed on it while he was teething and now it's his baby sister's turn very soon. Moving on to the all-time favorite one of Solly, Little Fish Finger Puppet Book. Solly still loves this so much. We named the fish Nemo, obviously from the movie Nemo. And he used to have so much fun when I make Nemo sing a song or tell a story. There were even times when he would obey certain things only when Nemo tells him to do so. And it was worth carrying it in my diaper bag to avoid any tantrums, you know. Like in their terrible twos when we both can't cope up with each other, Nemo comes as a savior. They come in a ton of varieties, probably in all children's favorite characters. Naira is just starting this and obviously it's so easy to make babies laugh. So that's with that. Now these two books are the lift the flap ones. Again I think young kids just love to lift the flap and find out what's inside. There's something with these kids and flaps, seriously, they're so curious about it. So we have the Where is Baby's Belly Button by Karen Katz, if I said it right, which teaches young kids about their body parts. There's again a cute video of Solly going through this one, which I shall insert in here now. Solly baby, eh? Start now. Baby na kanne de kanne. Ada. Baby na wa ya de mouth te da ya. Baby na de de. Baby, ad boy olchi. Kanne. Very good. Ni de ni de ni de. Baby na belly button na de. Ad saali na belly button. Ni baby na belly button ad boy olchi. Ada. Baby na kala de. Ada. Baby na kaya de. Ada soal ini kaya ne. Baby na kaya de. Ada. Kay. Very good. Baby de ulci. Edui. Edui. The second one is Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell and it introduces different zoo animals to young kids. Excuse all the disasters in here but it's a great book which stimulates all their motor skills and you could definitely talk about zoo and different zoo animals. And honestly it's a very nice gift to kids who loves animals and things like that. Right, now the last one in our collection for babies up to one is Baby's Very First Slide and See Under the Sea by Asborn. I think we're mostly in underwater series today. Little Nemo, Baby Shark and now this one. It happened so because at that stage, Solly was fully into those and only after he was one, he had this love for all the vehicles. It was a pretty quick change of face. Anyways, back to this one. It's again very much engaging for the little ones to slide the tabs or turn the boat pages or run their fingers through the tracks or literally just gazing at the wonderful pictures. It's again a boat book hence it's much more toddler proof. As you can see this little fishy here is broken bad. And yes Nera isn't here yet but I'm so sure she loved these two just like her big brother. And maybe I'll have to add a couple of girly books into the collection which I'll do in the coming future. Now if you've noticed none of these are story books simply because that's not necessary and as they kind of get start to get into the flow you can make your own versions of stories. There are a number of possibilities. One night you could make a bedtime story. The other time you could make out a moral one or maybe to teach a good habit like washing hands for instance or simply talk about different objects on the pages. So there are a limitless amount of possibilities with such picture books.
well yeah these are the books i wanted to talk you through and definitely some of our best buys pretty soon i'll also do a video on toddler books we've been using but this is it for today so stay tuned hit a like and don't forget to subscribe bye dinda dinda pitta dinda kelli kelli dinda po dinda po to po to dinda ma ma dinda ma ma dinda action ale inne nadu namakku